Good morning, everybody. I am in Kentucky just outside the NADA tunnel to prove how capable the new Defender is as an overland vehicle. In the past, we've shown you that it can conquer some of our toughest trails out there, and now we're going to show you how useful this machine is as an overland vehicle. We've made a few modifications, and we'll get to those in a bit, so why don't you hop in, and we're gonna go through the tunnel. Love it. Teamwork gets the job done. It's always nice to have a good team and a good spotter. Luckily for them, they're good spotters. It wouldn't be a Land Rover trip if we didn't have some sort of check engine light or a little suspension issue. The Sport, which has just turned 200,000 miles, has got a, a suspension fault. We brought the gap tool. We're just gonna clear the codes. and He'll be back on the road like nothing happened. We were able to clear the code, but it keeps coming back. It's a hard fault. Uh, this particular generation of truck is known for having some bad wiring in the sills. What we're going to do is uh, put it in build mode. It'll lock the suspension. It'll essentially turn it into a coil sprung truck and uh, away we'll go. I have been doing that kind of thing to Bill for over a decade. Hey, this is really sketchy and I don't want to damage the truck. You drive, I'll spot. And you love it every time, don't you? <laughs> he said he loves it. All right, let's get the rest of them up. Yeah, like right off to my side, it's a, it'll, I'm a bit nervous for my safety. Oh, stop it. I think I can, hand me that camera on and I'll... I don't know if this is working. I stole uh, Chris's camera. I'm sitting there looking for M&Ms that I dropped and I stuffed the Defender off the side of the trail. I, it's a lesson to be learned. Watch where you're going. Watch where you're going.
on the side of the road because the bridge is out. They've got cranes fixing it. So we're going to stop. Got our awnings up. We're going to have a little lunch. Uh, I've worked up quite a thirst. Young Corbin, would you pop over and grab me a Pellegrino, please? You got it. It's the only civilized way to overland. You got to have a Pellegrino and an awning. Hey, it's Father's Day weekend. Did I ever tell you how much I love you, Father? I love you too, son. Thank you. Here it is. You're the best. What a good kid. Son of a... <laughs> <laughs> so the road's closed. Life has thrown us lemons. We've decided to have Pellegrino in awning and just enjoy the day. This is this is overlanding the land rope away. Yep. Yep. I don't know where it finds the traction. Hands down, an amazing piece of machinery. There you go, Bill. I think you lost something on your tuchus over there. Bumper? Yeah, just a bumper. Well, you guys didn't see, but this little corridor is super tight. The Defender 2 walks right up it, no big deal. And then we get to this, and then I realize I need like a 40, maybe a 44 inch tire to clear it. I've folded the under portion of the bumper under. We're using the winch tray as a skid plate. It's not going to be healthy for the truck. It'll end up crushing the coolers. So I'm going to try to climb up a tree, use the winch to pick the nose up, stick some treads under, and see if we can bring the truck up a bit. If not, Bill's going to shovel a lot. Hey, Bill. Hey, I still hate you. When you get to the split on the trail on Furnace Road, go to the right unless you got 40s or you want to play with your winch. Again, this truck just keeps impressing me. Managed to drive all the way up there and just belly panned out. If we had more traction or more tire, we would have made it. But thanks a lot, Warren. Let's get back on the trail. What did it say when we turned on this road? <laughs> 34 minutes. <laughs> what? So Brent uh, grew up in the restaurant industry. His parents owned a restaurant and he uh, manned it. He enjoys the outdoor experience, but yet he wants to bring that five-star restaurant taste to us from the outdoors. So he's got some mashed potatoes. Those he made at home and hand-picked green beans. He'll actually go through the stalk and pick out the right green beans. That's what we got going on right now, then the lobster. Uh, chef, what else is on the menu for tonight? Uh, we've got these Brazilian lobster tails that we're bringing in from none other than Brazil. Ah, uh, yes. We uh, have some fine Wagyu beef, mm. and uh, we're gonna wash that down with a nice Cabernet, followed by some bourbon. Still want to save it for leftovers? Instead of looking at your guy, that was going to go that way. Me? The 83 is better, but if that's all you've got, we'll take it. 
Well, there you have it. Day one, we hit some obstacles. It was a perfect overland adventure. And now we're going to sit down to your typical Land Rover dinner. Uh, lobster, a side of steak, mashed potatoes, and some greens, fine bottle of wine. I hope you enjoyed this part of the adventure. Get some sleep. We all are, because tomorrow is going to be even harder. Castle Road. It's famous for this big water crossing. They haven't had a lot of rain, so I'm not too worried, but I can already see over there that it's about two foot deep. We're going to gently drive the truck in, have a recovery equipment ready on the LR3 behind me, and uh, I hope this goes well. It's going to go well. Back seat, if you can. Huh. Shut off? Yeah. So, I'd ask Mr. B rent for a couple tire wraps and we'll just gently pull this back. Yeah, that, coming through that water, his fan or his radiator, it's held in with these rubber mounts. It got, got forced back a little bit, it's touching the fan. We're gonna just zip tie it for now until we can get some new rubber mounts on it. But the truck's got 200,000 miles and it's out here playing like no big deal. So a zip tie or two, easy going. Field medic. That's what we have. He's Wait, right. are those are those OEM that, Land Rover parts? <laughs> yeah, these are these are genuine OEM tie wraps. You can look that up in Microcat. We're gonna use two of these genuine tie wraps. Looks authentic. Mm -hmm. Does this void the factory warranty? Not at all, no, no. Because we're using genuine parts. Ah, right. Cut Good this call. way, but I don't wanna to cut towards the hose either. We're gonna have a whose knife is dollar contest.
easy peasy, some lemons. There's something about a squeezy in there, I think, too. All I know is that new Defender is amazing. It just finds traction. I don't know how they did it. Because I'm not that good of a driver. guys what an amazing adventure we just had I I can't say enough good things about the Defender 2 it tackled everything I threw in front of it except for one obstacle and let's be honest this truck should have never been on it it was an amazing overland platform and once again I think we've proven just how capable this truck is uh, I'm gonna bail out up here take the throughway I got about a 12-hour ride home and uh, I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one.